guys, Axio Matt here with Combat Wombat. Suppy in the. Welcome to. What the fuck was that? That's me. You have just not done good intros at all. <laughs> that depends anyway. on the definition of good. Okay, alright. You got that. <laughs> anyway, this is the cave. That's, that's what we're doing. Yes, the cave. To yeah, you totally said it right. So for yeah. the third time. <laughs> it's a story of seven people. Oh my god, I hate technical issues, by the way. <laughs> anyway, we're doing uh, this is for the cave. Awesome game. What do you think? You played it? I have not yet played it. So you agree it's awesome? I agree it's awesome. It's by Double Fine. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, it's by Double Fine, which we all know made awesome games like Psychonauts and Brutal Legend and uh, Iron Brigade and Stacking. Yeah, I fucking love Stacking. Oh, oh Trick or Treat Cost game. Costume Quest. I was, about to, I was about to say. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love that game. <laughs> I, I don't even know that... I, I bought the Christmas DLC and I was like, I don't even care that I'm <laughs> trick or treating in Christmas. <laughs> it made a new family tradition for me, which was weird because I was already 20. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> playing uh, Costume Quest at Christmas? Nope, trick or treating. Oh. So, <laughs> we're, we're talking about the cave today, though, which is an awesome puzzle adventure platformer thingy. I guess that that's probably the right genre, right? I guess. Like, I mean, it's. I guess. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you guessed. <laughs> Uh, you get to pick between uh, three out of seven characters, with each one of them having their own special ability and their own story inside of the cave. So, a which... minimum of three playthroughs to get all the story. Yeah, a minimum of three playthroughs to get all the story, and you can get all the achievements in it relatively easy, actually. I think it's about... If you prioritize it correctly, you can probably do it in about six. Oh, six yeah. playthroughs. Okay. Yeah. It's, and they're about two, three hours per playthrough, but overall it's it's great because it's got that double fine humor that they're so well known for and just pretty much all the awesome stuff that you would expect from a double fine game. So overall know? it's kind of a shorter game, but with everybody having their own individual stories, <clears throat> it would add to a lot of replayability, right? Yes. It's an awesome game, though. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But they each have their own special abilities, which, like, going back and replaying it as many times as I have, I've seen now where it's like, the first time I did it completely differently because I had, like, the Time Traveler who can teleport. Whereas now I've got, like, only the Knight and, like, the Scientist and the Monk. So I had to do it completely differently, but they each have, like, their own certain ways that they can make solving a puzzle easier, you know? Or harder. Yeah, or harder. That's, that's true. Like, I think the actual way you're supposed to do one of the Knight's puzzles is annoying as shit, but, like, if you have the Time Traveler, it's just like, oh, well, I'm gonna take this and leave. It was fun. Well, you know what they say. Thanks for trying to puzzle me. I can't be puzzled. Them. I can't be puzzled. Blood pressure medication. But yeah, the puzzles aren't too difficult. I think there might be like two or three that I scratched my head on for about five seconds and I was like, God damn it, Matt, you're retarded. And <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned you were close to 100%ing it. What are some of those achievements anyways? Oh yeah, those. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, let me, let me start off with... Uh, I, I love this achievement just because of how repetitive it is. Win, 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 win. win, win. win. Seven wins? That's seven. Seven wins. <laughs> I used my fingers to count because I didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> and I didn't have to use my toes. <laughs> well, I guess I could have, but I'm wearing socks. Shut up. No. <laughs> That's for basically beating the game with every character, you know, which is called reaching the bottom of the cave. Well, I mean, it's Which, cave. Caves have bottoms, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a cool... I like how this game does it, because, like, that's actually kind of, like, a weird thing, because when you reach the bottom of the cave, you climb out of it. Oh, that's interesting. It's interesting to me, because I feel like it's, like, one of those, like, metaphors for, like, yeah, you got through your destination, but you're actually at the bottom, because your heart and soul are all low and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that again. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> Anyway, there's also the whole story for unlocking all the cave paintings, which are kind of like your collectibles. Those are the, like the paintings, like, um, when you come up to them, they look like individual symbols for each character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they show you which character, which, the way they do those uh, collectibles is kind of weird, because they're in different spots, depending on who you're playing as. Right. But, I mean, they're, they're not anywhere that are too hard for you to find. Like, I, I was trying to think, like, how could you do a guide showing you where they all are? I don't think you could, because they're in... They're in, like, different spots every time I played through it. Oh. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I've got no fucking idea. That's not really... <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But they're not hard to find, so it's like, you know, no problem. And really what they do is they show you the, the backstory for your characters. Those characters are extremely fucked up. <laughs> That's a typical Double Fine game. I yeah, mean, I love that about it, though. Like, <laughs> I mean, Psychodoxy runs away to escape the circus. Ooh. Yeah. The, 
I mean, that's kind of opposite of what I always did. But <laughs> oh, the tightrope! It hurts so much. the The twin story is probably the most fucked up one. Well, you would it's expect like, those creepy ass little twins. Yeah, to be the most those twins. Up. Yeah, in case you've never seen them, those fucking little... They got demon eyes, man. I know. <laughs> They're like red. I'm scared of them. And they never leave each other's side. Yeah, and they make ghostly copies of themselves. That's that's probably the least of their worries, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> those attachment There's... issues will come up later in life. Yeah. Their, their story is basically they want to kill their parents. Oh. <laughs> and, like, you go through a whole thing of helping them kill their parents. So they want to kill their parents... Do they yeah. want to marry each other later? I mean, no, geez. I, well, you, you know, talking about Wincest right there. Ah, oh, yeah. There goes the fine cool. China. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the yeah, Royal Buffet achievement. <laughs> uh, you see a king eaten by a dragon. It's it's a pretty fun one. That's like through the knight's quest line. Oh. I, I like how I call the quest line once the knight. That's huh. interesting. Probably not Skyrim on my brain <laughs> at all. China. Speaking of, I kind of want to play that tonight. Hey, shut up. We're talking about the game. Anyway. <laughs> We're talking about the game, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, smells like Team Spirit. You're gross. That's the description. Is that a Nirvana you're... reference, or...? I, you're gross. That's what I was assuming. Oh, it was okay. a reference to you, specifically combat. Oh. You're gross. Oh. You don't have to bring you that feel, up in public. You feel bad about yourself, guys? Yeah, I, I feel terrible about myself. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. exactly what I wanted. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all the achievements I feel like covering. I probably could do more, but I'm lazy. Oh. And we've probably been talking for too long anyway. So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I like you being in short. Lazy. Do what? You being lazy, less work for me. Yeah, at all. <laughs> no, me being lazy is less work for me, because how you encourage your audio is like, oh, I, I don't care. Matt will fix it later. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Matt, I, I've been helping more lately. Come on. <laughs> no. No, you haven't. Anyway, to sum up, the cave, fun game, awesome. I plan on multiple playthroughs. Yeah, really, really good. A lot of fun experience. A really good experience, I think. Despite how horribly morbid everything in it is. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of my childhood. Uh, we need to get out of here before he starts having more memories. Bye, internet. Uh, I can finally leave. Finally leave. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up.